this video I'm going to show you how to assemble twirly gig number three. Twirly gig number three is just slightly different than the first two. Um, in the first two, this was a threaded end and we screwed the, the twirly gig on, but now it's just going to clip on with a little retainer clip. This is what I call the lower shaft assembly. It's got this double gear on a sleeve and one is smaller than the other. Um, it's got an idler gear, an idler pin, and then it's got a shaft with one hole in it. The upper assembly has this gear with two keyways in it and a gear, a single gear on a sleeve with a hole in it. It has this shaft with a keyway on one end and that slot for the retainer clip and there's a hole in that shaft and this is the retainer clip. This is the motor adapter. This can be set up to run off a motor or a hand crank. If you're going to use a hand crank, then instead of putting the motor on, instead of using this, you're going to put in uh, the hand crank, which looks like this, which will go in right in the place of the motor. So to get started, you'll notice that on the base, there's three holes on one side and two on the other. The side with the three holes is where the, the, the middle hole is where the idler gear is going to go. And then uh, the motor would sit on this side. So we can begin by putting that idler gear in. Uh, it's just a simple, uh, put the pin through and put it through the middle hole and then use a short piece of filament as a keeper and just push it through the hole and that'll lock that pin in place and you just leave a little tail sticking out it's a little longer than it needs to be so we can cut that off and now the idler gear spins right there so the the lower shaft one end of the shaft has got a hole in it for the motor attachment and the other end does not. So we need that motor attachment to stay out here on the side with the three holes. And the small gear engages with the idler. So the small gear goes on the side with three holes. And, and then the trick is to find the hole. So I kind of line the holes up so I can see light through it. And I push it in until I see that daylight coming through. And then I take a short piece of filament and I put it in the hole. The first time you push filament in the hole, it'll be kind of stiff. <clears throat> you do it once or twice, um, it'll get smoother. Now you can see that we're engaging with that idler gear. So the small gear, larger gear, idler gear. So the top shaft, this, this end with the keyway and the slot, that's where the, um, the wheels are going to attach. So this one is going to go, this particular gear with the keyways is going to go on first and engage with this gear right here and then this gear with a single sleeve and the hole in it it's going to engage with the small gear on the lower shaft And for this one, I'll, I'll make a new pin. I'll just take a scrap of roll end from filament, place it through there. And 
Now when the motor turns, this gear is turning in one direction and this shaft is turning in the opposite direction. That's letting you know it's going to work. So to put the motor in, these pins face downward. Motor snaps in like that and then snaps onto the frame. And the tricky part here is getting this shaft into this hole. So um, if you have any artifacts from printing in there, you may need to take a blade or something and, and clean the edges on that. Um, so I'm going to get the motor mostly on and then rotate the shaft until everything lines up. And then push it on. There. Now the motor is snapped into place. Now the, the next thing we do is we take this twirly gig with the um, shaft and prongs. These prongs are going to engage in the keyways in this little gear that we put here. So we have to rotate it until it seats in that gear. That one's on. And then this one, the flange, faces in to put a little spacing between the two discs. And this is a keyed, so a keyed shaft. So there's a keyway here and there's a key here. And we're going to line those up and put them on the shaft. Then the last step is to take the little C-clip or little retainer clip and just slide it into the groove. And that will hold everything in place. Now it's assembled. Last thing you gotta do is just plug it in. Now when I run it, I run it with the speed controller and I turn the voltage down all the way to slow it down. Otherwise the motor's gonna run too fast. I'll show you what it looks like when it's running.